Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. How are you guys doing today? I am here today to talk about shopping for a vehicle for van life or not van life. While you're broke, why you don't have the money. Why is it important that you shop for a vehicle while you're broke, why you don't have the money? So you can make an informed decision when you do get the money. So you will have all your dots in a row. So you will already know what you're looking for, where you're gonna be looking for it for. So right now, I don't have the money to buy another vehicle for van life, but I want another vehicle for van life, something that I can stand up in. And so now is the time to decide what is it that I'm looking for? What is it that I want? What is it, what is it that I can afford? Now is the time to find out how much the vehicles that I'm looking for are selling for market value. And so I am at Richie Brother Auctions in Humble, Texas. They will be auctioning off some more vehicles on April the 10th. By the time you see this video, the auction will probably be over. But but listen, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to teach you something, girl. It's not going to be too late because they are going to have another auction in June. So now is the time for you to learn everything that you need to learn, for you to see how much the previous video, the previous vehicles that uh, they're auctioning off on the 10th are going to go for. I'm going to help you out with that. So come on in and listen to your girl so you can make an informed decision. Like I said, I am looking to purchase a vehicle before the end of the year is out. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get one or if I'm going to have the, enough money, but I'm shopping for a vehicle now so I can learn and see how much these vehicles are going out for, how much money I'm going to need so I can anticipate that. What kind of vehicles they're having? Are they going to, do I need to settle? for what they have at that time, or do I need to wait until they possibly get another v, uh, vehicles? So say for instance, in June, if I had my money and I was ready to get another, ve uh, another vehicle in June, if they don't have the type of van that I want at that moment, should I wait until January, until December when they're gonna have another auction? So let's take a look at this vehicle right now. They have like 10 or 11 uh, vans that they're gonna be auctioning off. Out of all of them, this is the longest one and this is the one that would be more suitable to me where I don't feel like I would be compromising. If I did get one of the other vans, I would be compromising because it's a shorter wheelbase. Even though it's gonna be tall enough for me to stand in, it's still not gonna be long enough even though I could compromise uh, making that compromise to be able to have something to stand up in. Do I want to compromise that or do I want to have something to stand up in and longer? I would prefer the longer wheelbase, but if I was going to get a shorter wheelbase uh, for a good price and be able to have something to, to stand up in, I would just be willing to make that sacrifice. So let me show you guys. So lot number 1225 is the longer wheelbase. This is how it looks in the inside. And I did start it up. I think it had like 123 miles on it. It does have this right here in the back. If you did not want this in the back and you wanted to make something that was more like a solid piece of wood, you could actually take this off and you could uh, trace it and then just put you some more panels up here. You could take this and put this on a piece of plywood, trace it out, and then you could have a whole piece of plywood up here that you could paint or decorate or do some kind of uh, artistic, I don't know, <laughs> whatever you wanted to do. So this would be the one that I would personally build, be it on myself, even though they have a lot of other ones. You can see right there next to me. I'm going to show y'all in a minute, but let's see. This one has 132,000 miles on it. Air starts, starts up, front seat, leather, and this is lot number 1225, going to be auctioned off on April the 10th on 2024 by the time you see this video this auction is going to be over with but that's why it's important to subscribe to my channel because i did put out videos alerting you guys ahead of time about this auction 
and to go sign up at the website so they can send you email alerts about their next auction. So even though you're gonna get this information after the fact, this is empowering you uh, for the information for the future auctions. See, that is a shorter wheelbase. So for some of you, you don't want a longer vehicle like I want. So for some of you, the shorter vehicle, lot number 1224 would be perfect for you. So lot number 1221 all the way to 1224 is uh, the shorter wheelbase. So that's how that looks. It's not too short. It's doable. It's livable. You can get up in here. You can stand up in here. That's really all that matters. Some people don't want a big old long uh, van like I do. And then you have this to go from the back to the front easily. Also, this was a Penske's vehicle. Uh, I think the battery is dead on this one. This one was 132,000 miles. Seems like the battery is dead. They're sitting out here. People are trying them. <sighs> but that's a nice one right there. And remember that this auction is an as-is auction. It's an as-is auction. <clears throat> this was Penske's as well. Where's the key? Start it right up. All change required. Uh, I don't know how much, how many miles this one have. Some of them show the mileage on it. Some of them don't. Uh, let me see if I can unlock the doors. Go around the side and show y'all how the back of this is doing. I'm doing the leg work for y'all. Thumbs up these videos and share them out with your family members, your friends, somebody you know that may be looking for a vehicle in the near future. So here is how the inside of that one looks. And this is the shorter wheelbase, but that's plenty, plenty, plenty of room for you guys to build this out and to live in. If I had to settle for one, a shorter wheelbase, I definitely would settle for it. Uh, because guess what? You could stand up in it. And that's all I'm looking for at the end of the day is something to stand up in. So, and another thing about all of these vans that they have up for auction, Another thing about it is that they have enough of them. So they're going to auction these vans off on Thursday. And so they have, I wouldn't bid on that one, but then again, that one looks like it took a beating. Uh, I don't know, just the way the inside of it looks, but my van looked dirty on the inside. I like that. But the advantage, see, that's not that much cleaning it needs to be done. It does have stuff that you're gonna have to pull out of it. But the advantage to this outside being like that, if you wanna keep that on there, people are gonna think you are a, a water damage expert. They're gonna be calling for, and you could keep this like this and you could kind of be stealth because you a water damage expert girl so i mean that could kind of work to your advantage i think so anywho uh here is from lot 1221 
down to 1225 is the ones that I will be bidding on. You could do from 1220, 1220, one, two, three, four, five, six. You got six vehicles to bid on. So that way, if somebody is bidding up one and it goes over your budget, let them have it. If somebody bids up number two, it goes over your budget, let them have it. You got three more. I mean, unless they are trying to take the whole lot, unless they are a dealer and they have that type of money to spend on all of them. When you get to the one that you want the most, that's when you bid. Like if I wanted 1225, I would bid that to my maximum and the dealer is just going to have to pay more. The dealers normally have a bottom line that they are willing to bid up a vehicle on because they have to leave enough room to make profit. So you, the consumer, still will come out better bidding them up to your max price because you're not going to pay a dealership price. You're not going to go through that middleman. So if you pay $15,000, $20,000 for them and that was your budget, I know these vehicles have a lot of miles on them, you guys, but that is still a good deal in my opinion because you have something that you can stand up in and if you go to the dealership they are selling these same vehicles with the same number of miles on them for twenty and thirty thousand dollars so if you can get one of these vehicles for fifteen thousand dollars that is actually a good deal in my opinion so let me know what you think about this video let me know if this information is informative if it's helping you and if it's helping you to prepare for saving your money uh, for the vehicle you can go online and check out and see how much these vehicles go out out for auction on Thursday so that way that can give you an idea of how much money you need to save if you're in Texas uh, they have these auctions in Houston in Fort Worth Fort Worth Texas and I believe they also have them in Vegas and so you can go on the website and check out what other states they have these auctions in and if I were you even if they have these auctions in a state that you are not in what I would do is I would find the city that is closest to me that have these auctions I would just get somebody that I know in that city and state to go out to look at the vehicle for me, FaceTime me, let me know which one they think uh, I should bid on. And I would just make arrangements to bid on that vehicle, pay for it, catch a plane, catch a train out, catch a bus out to that city and go pick it up. Like sometimes you have to go the extra mile to get a good deal and i believe these vehicles are worth it and they were owned by penske or owned by another company where they were being taken care of most of them have free freeway miles on them uh yes they're selling them after they get so many miles on them but that's because they're renting them and they limit the chances of their customers having a breakdown if they buy new newer vehicles it's actually a win-win-win situation for them because they're making money on these vehicles and they're putting these vehicles on the market for van lifers like you and i to be able to afford to get a vehicle that we could stand up in at a reasonable price by going to the auctions actually uh they do sell the penske vehicles on uh their penske website as well but the ones that are selling at auction actually go out for cheaper than the ones on the Penske's website. So that's something to consider as well. Okay, y'all, that's going to be it for this video. I know I said that a couple of times. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. If you have any questions, leave them in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye now. Thanks for watching.